Hello there, the Internet Tough Monkey here once again. Hope that you're all well. Thanks very much for stopping by. Okay, yet another time trial for you to look at. This time, we're at Spa Francorchamps and we're in the Red Bull Junior, the X. 2014 car. I had to go out and buy this one. I didn't have this until this uh, this event came up on the timeline. But we are looking at beating a 2 minute 36.135. Now when I saw that time flash up I thought that seems very slow. I didn't clock it at first until I looked at the tyre allocation. Yeah, because we've got no soft, medium or hard tyres to choose from. We've only got intermediates or wet weather. Yes, viewer, that's right. We are doing Spa Francorchamps in the wet. And suddenly I had cold sweats and flashbacks to when we used, was it the Porsche 917 in the uh, very final challenge of the licences? Oh, God, I don't want to go back there. Anyway, I had to go out and buy some tyres. Now, I didn't know at this point whether we were using intermediates or uh, wet weather tyres, so I bought both. And uh, I did try both sets of tyres. I'm going to start off here with the intermediate tyres. And we're going to hit the uh, track for the first time. This will be my first lap out as we head through Eau Rouge, up through Radion, and onto the Camel Straight. I'm going to get it immediately wrong. If you go out that far, you're going to pick up a penalty. And that was my first penalty, and it was a bit of a theme that would continue for my entire time during this time trial mind you you've got to push the uh, track limits you've got to know where you're going to trigger those uh, penalties so you can uh, maximize your lines and get your speed up as much as you possibly can so it's a good thing to get penalties early on you uh, you're learning the track limits but um after my first few laps uh, i thought i'd uh, try out the wet weather tires to see if they were any better and uh, it's fair to say that no no viewer they weren't uh, i just didn't feel confident on them they just didn't feel as i was getting the uh, grip that i wanted i was uh, sliding around and it was a uh, it's a bit like bambi on ice as you can see there so uh, uh, after only a few uh, tours of the track i came back in again and uh, swapped out for the intermediates but I, what i also did here is normally i have my traction control set to zero i, I prefer zero i just think it, it, it helps you become a better driver Driver. But um, yes, uh, screw those kind of principles here. I just wasn't getting the kind of grip. I was struggling to come out of corners like this. This, the final corner, the bus stop at Spa, is just, it's Mickey Mouse time, isn't it? But immediately, we we're at winter the 242, so we're getting quicker. And you notice I've changed my view as well. I don't I don't normally have any in-car view, but uh, I just felt it uh, it suited me better slightly on this track. I don't know why. So we've gone with in-car view, we've set the traction control to two, and we're into the uh, we're now down to 241.44, and this was gonna be a much better lap until we left it too late to break into the bus stop. Got it completely wrong, and I reckon I lost around about a second overshooting that entry point into the bus stop, and we still actually went quicker but that shows you how much time I had left on the table which again was good it made me uh, confident that I could uh, better my time it just took me until my 19th lap until I was able to do that so this is my best lap coming up now trying to get the uh, power down smoothly out of the uh, the old bus stop chicane across the line to start our best lap and we're trying to spot our breaking point into the first corner just before the 100 meter board we're turning into La Source I've got actually a little bit wider but it actually helped me uh, straighten up the exit because uh, you can't get your power on until you've straightened up the exit and uh, I was able to uh, take a uh, two tenth advantage of my best lap time until this point as we uh, head down into uh, Eau Rouge and uh, Radion uh, turning early just a lift off slight lift off and then back on the throttle cut as much of that curb as we possibly can and then just gradually open up the steering wheel to uh, stop any kind of oversteer as you're coming out over the hill there because you're going up the Camel straight for a long time and you can lose plenty of time usually I was uh, losing time to my best lap until this point but this time I was matching it early on the brakes and try not to run too deep drop it down to second gear feather the throttle you're just trying to get the car to rotate up to third because it always wants to oversteer as you come out of that uh, left hander get power back on early as we head down to uh, Bruzel's I think that one's called um, the downhill braking, let it run a bit wide, uh, drop it down into second and then cut it back in and bring it back up the uh, the gearbox to uh, minimise your wheel spin here. Uh, early brake and turning for this corner, although we did lose time here, I was, I was four tenths up, nearly five tenths up, but as you see coming down the hill here, I'm actually losing time all the way down here to Puyon. Puyon is a pain in the backside dry wet it's so difficult here drop it down to fourth then drop it down to third control it and then just go back up to fourth the temptation is to go up to fifth gear keep control because you it's on the knife edge of balance here but if you go up to fifth gear you just lose a bit of bit of extra time before you uh, break into the uh, the corner at campus and um, tricky one to get right it's uh, always squirming and some puddles on the left hand side there you can see it's fighting me 
uh, try and keep off the kerb as much as you can and again early into this uh, right hander here at Stavolo very tricky it's very easy to run out wide onto that uh, rumble strip and uh, you just get sucked further towards the gravel as you do that critical corner to keep the speed up and then accelerate early because this again a long long time on the on the uh, throttle here through uh, Blanchimon and uh, in the wet this is a tricky little corner coming up here this bit here is perfectly fine but run it out onto the green painted strip and then turn it early just a slight feather of the throttle don't run too wide otherwise you can pick up a penalty running out wide there and then finally your last breaking point don't run too what too deep into here as we've seen it's very easy to go wide as i turned in now six tenths up five tenths there and i've lost speed i've actually lost about two to three tenths as we go through this final section so it's not a perfect lap but it's an improvement and it's a 240 as you can see i'm actually frustrated because ah, i was desperate to get under the 240 it was that invisible barrier i wanted to get under it just didn't quite get it and when you see there i've got a 239.711 as my ultimate lap time so i'm i'm frustrated by it but i'm actually happy with it 2.53 percent of gold is where i'm usually trying to aim for when you're there you're usually safe and you can see there's a big gap between the very fastest times and uh, anything in the top 500. Anyway, I hope that might help you out. As always, let's have a look at what I've won. Not very much as usual. Right, that's me done. That's bar done. Hopefully that's gold. We'll see you in a week's time. Catch you next time. It must as well, John.